40 plays a crucial role for transportation and traffic across the state. But when it's covered in ice and snow, DPS says it can become extremely dangerous. There are sections of that highway that when there's a heavy snowfall, uh, nothing moves. Not only do we have zero visibility, we have so much snow uh, that it takes uh, a while sometimes for ADOT um, machinery to get there to clear the roadways. And so you have people stuck in their cars and that's the worst case scenario. DPS spokesman Bart Graves says they saw this with last weekend's storm that caused dozens of accidents, including the wreck that killed two people. That was the perfect storm. We had 49 vehicles involved in 20 separate crashes along that stretch of I-40. Uh, at the time that this fatal collision happened, there were um, DPS troopers were trying to slow down traffic. The reason DPS says speed is one of the main causes of crashes in winter. And Graves says they're investigating if speed is the cause of the fatal crash. They saw a BMW rammed into the back of a tractor trailer and was then rear ended by a semi truck, killing both people inside. Not to mention numerous slide offs from people losing control, going too fast and going off into the ditch. So our troopers are very busy uh, going from call to call to call. When this happened, unfortunately, two people lost their lives. So his advice for the next storm, stay home and off the roads. The number one rule of thumb is if you can, please postpone your trip. Don't become a victim. Don't be in the wrong place at the wrong time. But he does say if you absolutely have to drive, make sure your car is repaired, you have a full tank of gas and a charged cell phone. So you can call DPS if you do get in trouble. Reporting in Williams, Mason Carroll for Arizona's family. Mason did a